Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I thought I would do a video today on some of my favorite things that I use to diamond paint. These are things that I use daily on my paintings. I've had some people ask different questions and I thought, hey, I'm going to do a video on the things that I use pretty much every time I sit down to diamond paint. Because, believe me, I have purchased a lot of things and I don't use all of them. You just try out all these different things. First thing that I'm going to show you is my light board. And this is, the size of this one is an A3. I love this size. And one of the things I like about this, okay, now don't go fuzzy on me, is that it plugs in here and it also fits into any electrical outlet. It's not a USB port and it's in there. This isn't going to move at all. You pull this apart to unplug it and push it in to plug it up. And I have it hooked to an extension cord so you can have it as long as you want it. It's been very sturdy. I've had this one for months. I really like it. I have another one with a USB cord. I like that one also. And I also have a small one. I cannot see a lot of these symbols without a light board. This one and I do have an Amazon store. I'll put that below. And the reason I did the Amazon store, I mean, I can earn a few pennies if you buy from the link, but if you don't want to buy from the link, that's fine. But I wanted everything in one place. So you could see the things that I do like to use, and you can find them. I have this listed there, so you can find it. One thing I like about this is that it has five settings, okay? This is going to make it... You have your button here to make it brighter. Okay. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this down because I cannot. Um, I'm having a little trouble with my papers flying around. Okay. This has the thing up here, and I'm going to show you. It has several settings. It has five, actually. So, that's that's at the brightest. And then you go back down. And there's the lowest. And then that it's off. So, I very seldom go without using my light board. If I'm, sometimes when I'm doing a chat, whip and chat or whatever, I don't turn it on because some people said it kind of, bothers with the image. You can't see it very well. So this is one thing I use all the time. I also use, okay, as you notice, I do have glasses on. But, and they do have progressive lenses so that I can see better. I need to go see the doctor, I know. But I get cheap readers. And I just put them on right over the top of my glasses. Attractive, right? But who cares? You're doing this at home by yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. It's amazing how much better I can see those symbols with my light board and with these glasses. I don't always need to use these. Sometimes my eyes, just, eyes get really tired and I just need to use them. Or some symbols are a little bit harder to read than others. So it just depends. Now, we know that we cannot diamond paint without drill pins and I do have several as you can see I'm going to show you um, I have purchased some that were acrylic and I don't use them because they're a little heavy for me I use only wooden ones all of these that I'm showing you right here are made from wood and I love them all and you think why so many well, I wasn't sure which style I would like the best, but I actually like all of them. My, I love this. This is crafted by Chris. I'll put her link below also, and here's another one of hers, and I have some more. These aren't the only ones of hers that I have. I get the wooden ones. Now, some people, the 
acrylic doesn't bother them. And I'm going to try a straight acrylic and see if that will work. Um, the ones with the bumps are just too heavy for me. And then I have all these. I don't like this one quite as much. This is kind of in my way, but it's okay. This, this style I love. And I love these. These two are the same. And I got these from Bill. Oh, I think these two are the same. I love these. Um, from Bill on specialty handcrafted diamond painting pants or something like that. And I will, I will link both Chris and Bill below because I love their wooden pens. These, you've probably seen on other channels, these are from Star Roar on Amazon. And I have these linked in my store. These also have a plastic tip, which I really like. I like using the plastic tips. But I found that they don't work real good with squares. So, I have these with the metal tips. And I purchased... 50 of these that have plastic tips on them. I got these off of AliExpress and I can put this below and they pull right out and you can put them into any of your pens but I suggest these for rounds. See how it just popped right in there? These work great with rounds. Soft, wax holds well, doesn't mark your pen, um, your drills up, so I really do like that. I also will use the paint pen, but I always use it with this type of grip. These are fantastic, and I've been using these all along. I've been using these for months before they came out with all these new type of diamond painting pens, and I do like this. If you don't want to buy other pens in your hand my hand was killing me with these pink pens. This is the only pencil grip that I tried that I really liked. And I have this in my Amazon store uh, where you can link to it. And I also put it on this and I have a paint, uh, plastic end on each end. And if I want to fill both ends with wax, I can do that and just scoop this up and down. And these change out very easily. So. Those are my drill pins that I use. I mix up between the ones I want to use. Sometimes I feel like, ah, I want to use that one today. Just, you don't have to have all those, but um, I find the wooden ones are cheaper than the acrylic. And that's not the reason I buy them. I buy them because I like them. They're lightweight, and that's what I need. And you can get them in any design you want. Um, Bill does a lot of different designs. So, and um, Lucy of Star Roar has some really cute ones of these. And these are very lightweight. And you can, I sometimes hold them way up here and I'm just do, do, do back and forth. Or, you know, up and down if it's on my easel. So, however, you want to use it, real easy. Okay. My favorite drill trays are these. I also purchased these on Amazon. I love these. They're big. I can get lines. I can shake them up and get a line of drills very easily. I pull this out and pour it back into whatever container I'm using, whether it's a plastic bag or plastic containers that I have, but I love these. I purchased a package of eight. I believe it was $10.50 or $0.99. But that's less than um, just a, just a little bit over a dollar a piece. Pretty cheap. I love them, and I have them in different rooms wherever I may be using a diamond painting. And you could put a couple of different colors if you want. I also have a colored one like this because sometimes you get drills that are white or light colored, and you can't see them in that very well. I also did a video on this package that I purchased from Wayline, and that's also in my store. This has a lot of straighteners in it. Um, I don't 
uh, it also comes with double stick tape and you can use these as multi placers I've done a video on that I can link it below if you're interested so I'm not going to talk about that too much my very favorite placers come from Star Roar I have um, I also got this big straightener from there because it came along with this package this is a mix of big ones and little placers they're all those plastic ones and they have a very very thin opening so it keeps your drills from digging down into that wax so your wax is going to last longer I can go for a long time before I change I got a, several of the four placers because that's probably my favorite sometimes I'll do a whole lot at one time but I don't know how well you can tell that edge is like very thin and when you put the wax in it okay maybe you can see it here when you put that wax in there it's a very very thin line so you're not going to have beads sticking all over the place and they will not go down into that hole so these are my favorite multi-placers from Star Roar and that is on my store it's linked to my store I just use the pink wax that comes with the kit I have tried everything and I still like the pink wax the best I find the other sticks to my drills too much so I still and believe me I've tried them all and I still come back to the pink wax so if you found something you love go with it but I enjoy this my favorite compartment to store my beads or my drills whatever you want to call them is the Elizabeth Ward store bead storage solution and I purchased this on Amazon you might be able to find them in a hobby store, craft store, Walmart, I don't know. And they keep changing the prices. One time they had it for $15, another time $18. They're usually around $21. This is in the United States. And because and, I'm in the U.S., so that's where I'm going to buy. So I love this system. I also have the craft mates, and I've got them pulled out right now because the kit that I have in my Elizabeth Ward system had so many drills that I had to put them into these. So these are great. Also, the Craft Mates looks like this. And I have beads. Of course, I always label everything stored in here. And when you only one of these will open at a time. You have to push that purple button on the end. And you can open one. Let it go. None of the others will open. Then you push it again to close it. Because I don't think you can close it. Yeah, you can close it without pushing it in. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Those are the storage systems. It's mostly the Elizabeth Ward. I had purchase this just so I could get a few extras and I wouldn't have to deal with a bunch of them just lying loose. Now, I'm going to go for a minute and I'm going to show you the tabletop easel that I use when I get a really big canvas. I had someone asking about that. So, be right back. Okay, here is the tabletop easel that I have. It is solid wood, so it is rather heavy. You can move with these grooves. You can make it lean back as far as you want. You can make it up straight. This is normally where I set it, is in this second groove. And it holds it at this angle, which is perfect. You'll notice I already have my light board setting on it. There's a ledge to hold it. I have this linked in my Amazon shop also. And it's perfect. If you've noticed, I will do the edges of my canvases a lot of times just lying flat on the table. Like I've been working on this one. I've had it flat because it was easy to reach. But when I start getting to those middle part portions, I 
just lay it on top of it like this. Notice, it just hangs on the other side. I don't have to roll it. I don't have to do anything. This is a 50 by 70. And that is the part that I am painting on. That's not the actual size of the whole canvas. Then when I need to, to move it, I just turn it like this. And this one is way big enough for all of those needs. Then I can turn it again to reach some of the areas up in here. So uh, let me turn the light on. There we go. So you can see a, a big light really does help when you're doing a bigger canvas. And you can see way up in there to do that. Now you think, well I've got a canvas bigger than that. Hold on, I'm going to show you another one that I have that is also bigger. This one I have hanging on over my easel right now is a, um, let me see, an 88 by 78. And as you can see, it is not in the least going to be too much. I just move it over to this side and work on it. Right now, I don't even need to do that. I do the edges flat on the table. When I need to get up into these areas, I put it on the easel. And as you can see, it just hangs in the back. I don't have to do any rolling. I mean, if you want to roll it, you can, but I don't see any reason to. Then I want to turn it over and do this long side. Hang on. I just do it this way. And just move it back and forth where I need it. And you can move the light. You don't even have to even move the canvas. Just put your hand under there and move the light back and forth. This canvas, is, uh, this tabletop easel has been great um, when I'm doing that. And see, it's just going to hang over. Usually straighten it out a little bit better than that when I'm working on it. But I'm trying to do this one-handed, so it's a little harder. And if you want, I just use these types of clips, and you can clip these edges together if you like. If you feel like you know you need one it more secure or whatever, just clip them together. I can't do it one-handed, but just to kind of give you an idea. And as you're finished with that area, move it on over or move your light. Very easy. So I do like this tabletop easel. Um, someone was saying they had a very small area. This will fit on a small table and you can just hang your canvases over it. So I hope that kind of answered your questions on a bigger canvas. And you can see some people do roll their canvases. I don't. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Get it up. An up close view of that. You can you you can clip it at the top. You can clip it wherever you want to if you want. It does not matter. Another thing I love are pieces of parchment paper. When I pull this up, hold on just a second. Okay, if you'll notice, I have pulled the paper all the way up to here. I put a piece of parchment paper right here to keep my hand from laying off in it while I'm working on it. So if I had it on the table I could do it like this or however and then when I'm done take it off and close it back up. Very easy to do. I thought I'd kind of show you how I set up my things before I, uh, I'm getting ready. I have my tray here, my pen, my wax, and I have my beads over to the side either on a table or a chair that I can reach them and then I'm ready to go. So I hope this answered your questions about using the big canvases. Let me know below if you have any more questions. I really hope that I was able to answer some of your questions about things that I use when I'm diamond painting. Everyone does things differently. You do it the way you like to do. There is no right and wrong 
in diamond painting. Just have fun. Enjoy it. And make sure that you don't stress out. This is a relaxing hobby. You're not in a race. Just take your time and enjoy it. If you have any more questions, you can email me at gbmaltese86 at gmail.com. I'll try to remember to link that below. If you ever have questions, and I have people who have, and I don't mind answering your questions. If I don't get to them right away, I will. Some days I'm a little busier than others, but I would love to help you in any way that I can. Now, maybe I'm going to show you the things that I use when I'm coloring. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, you have a blessed day. Take care, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.